the, the thing that really moves me about David and Marianne's philanthropy is that they are physically present everywhere. When I look at the, the roster of organizations they've supported, it includes political organizations, activist organizations, the environment, arts and culture, both large organizations and small organizations. So their, their philanthropy is very balanced and, um, and uh, holistic. Marianne and David have been involved with Seattle Opera for decades. Marianne championed the Seattle Opera at the Center Capital campaign, and the building opened in December 2018 to realize this $60 million project. Marianne's coming from a place that opera is for everyone, and Tagney Jones Hall and the Opera Center, the campaign that she championed, really is a, a representation of that. Marianne and David have been involved with Forterra for 25 years. So Marianne joined Forterra's board in 1997 and served until 2008. She was a critical part of the leadership through amazing transitions in how our organization thought about our role in the region, guiding what was called the Cascade Dialogues, which um, evolved into a 100-year vision for what this region should look like, what lands should be protected, how we should go about that work, uh, and recognizing that livable communities were critical to the well-being of our environment. In 2012, the Museum of History and Industry opened a brand new museum on the shores of South Lake Union. And it was an incredible place that really reimagined how history can be shared with our community. To get to that grand opening in 2012 took a lot of work and a lot of thinking and a lot of creativity. And David Jones was right there from the start of a $90 million campaign. He really helped us think beyond our borders. He helped us think bigger than we had ever imagined. We couldn't have done it without David and Marianne. David and Marianne have been catalytic at Town Hall. I'd say the first thing that comes to mind immediately is that they were instrumental to uh, our recently completed renovation of our 102-year-old building. They made an early and generous gift that really threw down a marker for so many other donors in this community. With their support, we were able to raise $33.9 million towards a $35.5 million campaign. It's no overstatement to say that we wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't have completed it without their early and generous commitment. Emerald City Music started five years ago here in Seattle, and at that time it was just an idea. We had a lot of passion and a lot of ambition to turn chamber music into this kind of edgy thing. Um, Marianne and David were two of the earliest supporters. They truly took a big leap on us and they took a risk, um, but their visionary support and then their continued knowledgeable support helping us shape this into an organization, not just an idea, is really the reason we're here today. Marianne and David have been part of the Fred Hutch family for over 15 years. They are major donors and volunteers and key supporters of our mission. Dr. Sunil Hingarani asked me to extend his congratulations. He says Marianne and David have been longtime and generous supporters of pancreas cancer research in the Hingarani lab at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center. They understand and support the need to try radically new approaches to this most recalcitrant of cancers. Their support will lead to novel ways to treat pancreas cancer that might not have been possible otherwise. Marion and David have been incredible supporters of Seattle Rep. Um, most recently, they have supported two productions here at the Rep. Um, last spring, uh, our production of Nina Simone, which tells a story of civil rights. Um, and uh, this fall, they are supporting Indecent, which is a, a Jewish story. And it's a really important, especially at this time in our history, they wouldn't have happened without their support. One of the things that's unique about Marianne and David is they demand nothing back from their gift. Truly, their giving is an act of generosity. So thank you for everything you've done. What you've given to the community at large is really something for the history books. And I am so honored to have been with you and to have watched you, to have worked with you, and to have been inspired by you. The whole community joins me in saying thank you.